All right, what's going on, y'all? AFO back again. And I know it's been a while, um, not a lot going on, obviously, in, foot, in terms of football or anything like that with the Vols or Titans. But I saw this earlier while I was at work um, about him. I saw it on Facebook. He was already standing out about Caden Salter already standing out to Trent Dolfer is what I mean at the Elite 11 Finals. Um, so I just figured I'd quickly just talk about this, and I thought it was interesting. So um, I'm going to read it because I haven't read it yet. But this is a good sign, a good sign of things to come, possibly, and that he's showing out with the with the other elite QBs around the country. So this is at RuckyTalk.com. Who's it by? Terry Lambert. Um, the Elite 11 Finals are underway in Nashville, kicking off Monday morning. Uh, 20 of the nation's best passers, so he's competing with the best ones of the 2021 class, um, competing in the premier recruiting showcase for quarterbacks this week. Um, and Caden Salter is one of them. Uh, committed to us back in uh, back in May, giving him another upside future prospect. Exactly, could be after Harrison Bailey, and that upside's already on display in Nashville. And this is according to Trent Dilfer. Uh, Dilfer, excuse me. Uh, he's way more organized as a passer than his tape showed. That's pretty good. Uh, Dilfer said he was really really clean, and there's some juice in his body. It wouldn't surprise me if he can take one step in 360 dunk. He has that kind of juice in his body, super coachable. They threw these inside seam shots, right, left, one high, benders stay skinny, and they cross. First rep may have not been perfect, and I watched the second rep, and his correction rep was money time after time. After time, I don't know if I read that three times, but whatever. But it just shows you he's he's pretty coachable, at least, obviously, um, from what it seems like. And, you know, he could mess up, and it's he, he he's, a, he's an upside prospect. And he's... Um, he, like, he's a highly rated QB, but he's not going to come in and start right away unless something drastic happens. And that's a good thing. You, we don't need to do that like we did with Garantano. Um, or I think even Josh Dobbs, honestly. We threw Josh Dobbs in pretty quick. And that was kind of disastrous, too. And same with Nathan Peterman. Way back when, I think that was against Florida. I don't even, I don't even remember. That was disastrous. I just remember that. Um, but the article goes on to say... That last part of Dilfer's statement on Salter may be the most important of all. He won't likely won't be asked to play early on, assuming Harrison Bailey delivers on expectations. He's going to have a chance to sit and learn, which is one of the best parts, in my opinion. Uh, perhaps even taking a richer season to further learn of Jim Chaney's offense. Uh, he has a live arm, which allows him to make big plays downfield, athletic enough to create outside the pocket, which is dangerous with the raw arm talent he seems to possess. And then it shows... Uh, you know, it's a little highlight tape, and I've watched a little bit of that already, but yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, nothing much going on outside of, I think the last thing I did was Tim Jordan, Tim Jordan's news about him getting arrested, getting, not coming back to the Vols this year, but you know, I'm just really hoping, really all hoping, you know, football can be played this year, and you know, y'all just gotta wear your masks, right, and, and hopefully it'll happen, we'll see, um, but yeah, thank y'all for watching, just, uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. Uh, just maybe, you know, maybe some video ideas. I don't know. I want to keep it central to this and possibly gaming, but just a lot of work's been going, work's been going on and everything like that. And, um, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, thank y'all for watching once again. Um, and AFO is out. God bless.